Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Today I want to talk about something completely new which is called the App Profile Manager. It's a tool that allows administrators to configure a unique app experience. So what does that mean, you're going to say? Well, the App Profile Manager has nothing to do with the data users are accessing through the app. As you know, this is handled by security roles. But it's focused on giving people access or preventing access to certain items and functionality in the app. Now, currently, the app manager can be used for multi-session apps like the customer service workspace, which is currently in preview. But I'm guessing this is going to be expanded to other multi-session apps in the future as well. Now, I think this is pretty big, right? With this new tool, we can turn certain things on and off, which allows us to create different experiences for the user logging into the same app. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now that you kind of understand what the app profile manager is and what we can do with it, let's take a look how we can access it. So the first thing you'll have to do is to actually go to make.powerapps.com. And then of course you gotta make sure that you are in the correct environment. So from here, I'm gonna click on apps and then I'm going to search for my customer service workspace app. As you can see, if I click on here, I can open my app profile manager from there. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here we see the app profile manager. Now currently there's two different apps. Let me actually go back to power apps and let me also try to open this from on me channel. And let's go back to apps. And Let's go here to Omnichannel for customer service, and you can see that I have the App Profile Manager from there as well. This, by the way, takes you to the same App Profile Manager. It's not, it's like there's two different ones. Look, if I actually click on the Opportunity Sales app, you can see it's not there. Or if I go to the Dynamics 365 Sales app, let's see here, we have Sales Hub right over here, and you can see it's not there either. So let's go back here, oops, to customer service or omni-channel for customer service. It really doesn't matter. Customer service hub, that's not it. And again, go by name. And here is our workspace again. So a couple of things that you see on here, obviously you can see here the get started area. This is allowing you to create a new app profile, or you can click here to see all of your app profiles. And obviously I can do the same thing when I click here. This allows me to view all of my profiles that I have, but I can also create a new profile from here as well. And you can see here that it actually comes with a default profile for the customer service workspace and you can't edit that. Now you can take a look at it to kind of see how that works. So we're going to do that in a second. So if I go back to the home page, you can see there's some other quick links on here as well, right? All of the documentation on Microsoft Docs. Here's the ideas forum, the support community link. And then here are some release notes as well. So let's go back to app profiles and let's take a look at the out of the box customer service workspace default profile. And you can see here, there's diff different sections here. We have general session templates, productivity pane, and then we have channels. So let's take a look at everything that we can do here. Obviously it says this is a system profile and cannot be edited, but again, we can still kind of take a look at how this was set up. In order to view the customizable features, I would like to right click on this and then open this in a new tab. This really kind of shows you everything that we can do. 
Now, if you are familiar with the customer service workspace app, you know that you can start a new session by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and by then clicking to open a record. So let me actually show you how that works. I am on in the customer service workspace app. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I'm going to click to open up this case record. And as you can see, this is now a new session. So that's something that we can configure in the app profile manager, right? This is that session window, as you can see. So we have a communication pane here. This is currently not available in the customer service workspace app because what this is, is live communication through a channel. So this could be through a chat, it could be through Facebook, it could be through Teams, like all of the different ways that we have that live communication going with our customer. Now, again, customer service workspace doesn't have that as of yet, as of today, but that might be something that could come later, right? We do know that Omnichannel has the communications pane. So this is where you can kind of decide on what to do with that. Then we have on top here, we have our application tabs and that actually has one anchor tab. And what that means is an anchor tab is a tab that will all also automatically load that we can configure, but the anchor tab is the one tab that cannot be closed. And then we have our productivity pane and we could have different productivity tools in that productivity pane. So let's take a look at that now again, right? We already knew that this is our session and then these are the tabs that we can configure, right? To automatically open. Then again, there could be one tab that's the anchor tab and that's, that could be the tab that we cannot close. And then lastly, this is that productivity pane with all of those different items, right? We have here smart assist. And if I click on here, we have agent scripts. And if I click on here, we have our knowledge base search directly here embedded in my productivity pane as well. So now that we kind of understand some of the items that we can configure, let's go back to the app profile manager. We can configure our session templates, right? That was that session. Let me just go ahead and open this particular guy as well. This is that session with all of those items on there. So if I go back here to my app, we can see here that we have the case entity session default template that has been selected. Now let's take a look at that. I'm just going to expand here this customer workspace app, all of these items. And you can see here, if I want to see the customer service workspace apps session templates, I can go over here. So let's just go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, that's going to open up in a different screen. And you can see that it actually opens up in customer service hub because that's where all of these items are stored. Let's just go ahead and take a look at that default template. And there's a bunch of items that are related to that session template. As you can see here, this is where you can set up your additional tabs. You can also configure agent scripts with this as well. This is actually, this case script is something that I add up myself after the fact. So now let's take a look at a session template that I actually set up myself. You can see here that we have two additional tabs. I'm actually opening up a CSR dashboard, right? And you can see that that's my anchor tab because the person is not going to be able to close that. And then I'm also going to have a knowledge base search tab on there as well. Now, agent scripts are exactly that. I'm actually going to do a video later on this type of uh, functionality as well. The only thing I wanted to show you is that once you have those agent scripts set up, you can tie them, associate them with a session template, and then you can allow people to use them. 
So some other things that you can see over here, right? There is uh, obviously a name for your session template. You need to put in a unique name as well. And then you can configure this to be generic or entity driven. And that's obviously referring to the entity that is living in that session template, right? You can see here that you can pick any of those entities from here. And then the title is really what is going to show as the title here of that session template, right? If I go back home and now I open up a different case, let's just do this problem with oven, you're going to see that that's now going to be the session name, right? Because that's, if you go back here, that's exactly how I configured it to be the case title. And then you can see here the communication panel mode. That's what I showed you guys earlier. That's this communication pane. We don't have that type of functionality yet in this particular app. And that's why you can see that it's just docked in there yet. So now let's take a look at the productivity pane. You can see again, right? I can't edit this. So there's not a lot that I can do here. So currently by default, the productivity pane is on. The default mode is that the productivity pane is expanded. And then we also have some productivity tools. But let's take a look at that stru structure real quick, right? This is that productivity pane. And then you can see the different items that we have available on the productivity pane. We have Smart Assist, Agent Scripts, and Knowledge Search. And of course, Microsoft is adding to this, right, continuously. So the way that you can configure this, we already saw that, right? Knowledge tools configuration, turn that on or off. Do we want people to be able to use that knowledge search tool from within that productivity pane? If yes, leave it on. If no, turn it off. Smart assist tool configuration, again, we can turn that on or off. And then that call script tool configuration as well. And then lastly, we have our channels. And as you can see, it says here, if this is turned on every channel you have set up in Omnichannel for customer service will be included in this app profile. Again, you can kind of see that I can't really do anything with this yet. And then here is where you're gonna be able to add an independent voice channel to a particular app profile. Now let's take a look at what that looks like when I'm actually accessing this, right? So we saw earlier, everything is turned on with the session template. We looked at the session template and we saw that there were no additional tabs, right? There are, let me just go back to the default one. There are no additional tabs, but we do have agent scripts associated with this. So what I needed to do first is I actually needed to assign users to this profile or assign a profile to users, whatever you want to call this. So if when you click that icon, and that was pretty quick, you saw that I actually clicked here on assign users, it's going to open a separate, as you can see, page in the unified interface. And this is where I can give people access. Now, the thing that you have to remember is that people can only have one of those profiles at the same time. If you actually look here at somebody else, Teresa Testing already has a different profile. If I click on add here, you can see here that it's telling me that we can only have users to be assigned to one app profile. And what I've actually assigned her is my own app profile. But first, let's take a look at this. Right? We saw earlier that we have Smart Assist enabled and we have these agent scripts enabled and we also have that knowledge section enabled. Right, And then we saw that there were no tabs that automatically opened up. So that's pretty accurate. Now let's take a look at my other profile, my custom profile that I created. So I'm going to open this up. Right here are our session templates. And as you can see, this is my case session custom template that I just showed you earlier. I can show you that again. Here is my custom template. You can see here I have two additional tabs and I have 
an agent script enabled in here as well. Then if you look at the productivity pane, I have the productivity pane turned on. By default, I can have it be expanded or collapsed. And then you can see here that the only thing I turned on was the smart assist tool configuration. And then obviously, as you can see here, this is where you would be able to add those channel, those voice channel providers. And unfortunately, I'm not sure I do have, as you can see, omnichannel for customer service, but I'm not sure why this is showing me as I need a trial for this. So I'm not sure if this is still um, to be added on a later date. But now let's take a look at that experience. What I actually did is I assigned that other user record, Teresa Testing, to this particular profile so we can see the difference. So if I open up Teresa Testing, you can see here I have that session open already. And you know what, let me just reopen it so you can actually see what that looks like. Let's hold down Shift, click on the case record. Here's our new session. And you can see here that my CSR dashboard now loads. There is no close button. I cannot close that dashboard. And I have my knowledge base search, which I can close. And then we can see here that the only thing that is enabled here is the smart assist section in that productivity pane. The other two items, as you saw earlier, were turned off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to check back again next week for yet another video. Thanks so much for watching everyone and be safe.